Hey, it's Holly, and in today's video, we have a, a beautiful spring home tour to share. I am so thrilled to have Bailey back from Cozy Crazy, who is opening up her beautiful home to share with us here today. I have her linked in the description box down below so you guys can follow her, check out her account, and get inspired. And without further ado, let's get started. Hello, guys, and welcome back to our home. So happy that Holly invited me back for the spring tours. Our house was built in the 1950s. It's a three bedroom, two bath, just a little bit over 1600 square feet. We have three very active boys who love to be outside. They're actually out there right now with all their friends and they put their shoes on right there at that little bench before heading out the door. We live in a neighborhood with a bunch of kids, which is such a blessing. This planter box right here was repurposed out of an antique footboard off a bed added some plants in there and some eggs and carrots and this little garland for spring. This hutch was a Facebook marketplace find many, many years ago. And inside I have all of my ironstone tea leaf collection. I was really lucky to find almost all of it just recently on an estate sale. If you do not frequent estate sales, I highly recommend it. Um, if there's something that you're on the hunt for, if you give it time, you can almost always find it at a killer deal. I am always looking to make our home cozy and inviting for our family and our friends. We have the boys' friends over a lot and we host. Um, to do that, I love to add different textures, pillows, blankets, candles. I always try to have fresh flowers in the house. To me, those things make a cozy space. I collect ducks and birds, pretty much anything that flies. <laughs> and I think that that's fun as well for spring. Over here on our coffee table, I just grab some twigs off the tree in our front yard, put them in that pitcher scale with some little bunnies, some advertising crocs. We spend a lot of time in here watching sports. Um, my boys love football and golf. Have another collection of mine. Um, I collect brushes and I love how unique they all are and the texture of them. Over here, these are another estate sale find. Some creel baskets. This pie save I got a couple years ago off of Facebook Marketplace and I just love it. I love how the blue matches our interior doors and the scale up on top. Our interior doors are painted feral and ball, light blue, and it's just a beautiful cottage blue. This apothecary uh, cabinet 
Um, I also got off of Facebook Marketplace and I love decorating this area for different seasons. For spring, I added my terracotta pots, flower frogs, vintage gardening tools. And I just love how that little space turned out. Over here we have our American flag. We always have that up. Very proud to be an American. This is mine and my husband's bedroom. It's very tiny. This used to be um, the one car garage and it was turned into a bedroom. It's tiny, but it works for us. back around. Go down and take a look in my boys' rooms before going into the dining room and the kitchen. All right, this is my youngest boys' room they share. This was originally the master in the house. We gave them the bigger room. They spend a lot of time in here with their friends, playing games, having sleepovers. It's a great space for them. This is my oldest son's room. And like I said, we love golf. He's got his master's flag in there. He loves to veg out in here. Um, all three of my kids have Betty's bedding, and if you are not familiar with them, they are wonderful for children. Um, it helps them to make their beds easily and keep their rooms nice and tidy. I highly recommend that. Here is a picture of my girls, Fanny and Frida. Um, if you are new to my Instagram page, um, you will meet them quickly. They love to get in on the fun. There they are barking as we speak. Um, going into my boys' bathroom. This is a space we have recently redone and I love this bathroom. Um, we added the beadboard in here with some hooks for their towels. We have a bench down here. I love the flooring in here, the black and white. I thought it was very true to the period of the home. This sink is my absolute favorite and was kind of the backbone to the design in this space. I just love it. The one hour parking sign, everybody always gets a kick out of that. Um, I thought that that was, you know, a little humor for <laughs> the boys' bathroom. The green tile in their shower. And then back here, they have some storage for their towels, laundry, and then they have some drawers down here for extra things. All right, coming back out, I'm gonna go into the dining room, give you another look of the living space. not to make y'all dizzy. Okay, this is our dining room. And um, normally this room gets amazing light. Um, it's a gloomy day here, but that bay window is wonderful for letting the light in. We recently did work in here as well. We added the beadboard ceiling in here, which I think added a lot of character, along with the wainscoting and the cabinets and the countertop and the open shelving. It's offered a great extension to our kitchen while hosting and having that extra space. The color on the walls in here is Pharaoh and Ball card room green, and it is a gorgeous green color. Like I said, normally this room gets better lighting, but this color is a great chameleon color. It can appear more green or even blue, just depending on the lighting. 
I absolutely love it. When decorating for spring, I love using a lot of natural elements, lots of texture, woods, whites, florals, greenery. So that's kind of what I've done over here on these shelves. I love mixing the old with the new. I think it provides a really nice balance to things. Again, almost all of these finds are estate sales, garage sales, thrifted. You can find so many cool, unique pieces uh, doing that. Bring me back home this way. We have this other cabinet over here, another Facebook Marketplace find. And it um, is great for overflow of bowls and different kitchen items. And then coming into our kitchen over here, um, we added the beadboard ceiling in here. We re uh, resurfaced the drawers and the cabinets. The paint color on the cabinets in here is natural by Sherwin-Williams and it's a very creamy, soft, um, off-white. Our island we repurposed from an old dresser. We just took out the drawers and added a butcher block top to it and it really added so much to this space. I love having fresh florals in the house. It's kind of my treat to myself every week. I normally get new ones on Friday and I look forward to it every single week. Underneath the cabinets, I've added some little eye hooks to hang some of my kitchen utensils and pretty things. Having a smaller house, um, I like having a lot of things out readily available, especially things that are aesthetically pleasing um, so that things that aren't can go away in cabinets. Some open shelving over here. Again, I've added the hooks underneath. I love to bake with my boys something that we do together a lot. More of our thrifted finds. Another duck. Back into the dining room here. And that's about it. That is our home. I want to thank you guys so much for coming back. I so enjoyed having you. Huge thank you to Holly. I really enjoyed this time with y'all and sharing my home decorated for spring with you. I hope that y'all have a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you guys so much. I hope you adored Bailey's home today. Let me know your favorite part in the comments down below and I will see you guys in our next video. Bye.